Hi, I'm Scott Jenkins and I'm bringing to you another video with one of our most famous questions. We seem to be using so much salt, why is that? And the way we need to look at this is there's a couple of reasons why. Now if it is the water softener, the reason why it would be is because the water softener itself has got a potential leak with inside of the cabinet itself where the water softener sits. So what you can do is you can peer down into the water softener and check the water line. So here we have the grill and the grill sits inside of the water softener. Now what we're going to have is about, I don't know, anything about three quarters of an inch above this grill line will be where the water is because of course the water needs to touch the salt so in order for the salt to dissolve to create the brine which is what the brine needs to clean the water softener. So what we need to look at here is that that being said we've got this much with inside the whole of the cabinet is filled up with water which will then of course be turned into the brine. So the block is in there. Now if the water level was above that that would mean quite likely that we've got a leak with inside the cabinet somewhere or somehow bringing in fresh water into the softener um, cabinet, dissolving the salt even quicker. So what you could be looking at is that worst case scenario could be overflowing, but hopefully it's been installed correctly and you can rely on the overflow, which would be on one of the either sides here. And again, quite likely going to an outside wall. So we can check that out. The next thing is that sometimes there can be a fault with inside the property itself. You could have a toilet that's leaking, you could have a dripping tap, something that's using water that you don't know about but that a water softener does. So if you've looked around the house and you're perfectly happy there's no leaks and this water level's fine then we need to start looking at what's going on in the home. So what I'm trying to say here is, is that although we're able to get another block of salt in quite soon so let's say when it gets out of the sight of this window about here you're able to get another block of salt on top. But what we can forget about is that we've actually got half a block here. So if that's got two blocks in, one each side, they've both dissolved down outside of the window, you've still got about half a block each side. So if there's two of you in the house, well that's going to be two weeks worth of salt right there. So as soon as you are able to and you get another pair on top, that's suddenly gone up to six weeks for two people. So you can see that, that's the difference. So if you put the salt in there, that's how much salt is already in there. So sometimes people can feel that they're using more salt than they actually are. So these are the things we need to look for. If you're still convinced that there's still a problem, what we can look to do after that is if you've got a water meter, and that will be most likely outside in the road. That being said, you can go to the meter and see if that's rotating round at any speed when you know full well there's no water being used in the house. If it's completely static, then yeah, we need to look at your water usage. Some people's idea of using a lot of water against somebody else's can be two completely different things. So just before we rush out to come and see you, if we can check out all these things first, then we can look to move on to help you further. I hope this helps.